In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a bishop chess piece. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Scroll down, tick background images, click the black triangle, click add image, scroll down, click open. Go to the folder where the image is saved, select it, open. To see the background image, change the view from perspective to orthographic, change the view to the front view. Scroll down. Now the size of the background image for the pawn was 2. For the bishop, set the size to 2.5. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press X to delete the cube. Add mesh cylinder. Click the object properties button. Set the Z scale of the cylinder to 0.1. Move the background image up to a value of 1.2. Press S to scale 1.25 and enter. Close the properties panel. Go into edit mode. With the cursor above the cylinder, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Click face select and select the top face. Change the view back to the front view and change shading to wireframe. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press E to extrude. Use the mouse to move the extrusion up. Press S to scale and scale to match the background image. The next section of extruding and scaling is exactly the same as for the pawn chess piece tutorial. So I'm going to jump ahead to where it becomes different. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press E to extrude and move the extrusion up. We don't need to press S to scale. Press E to extrude. Press S to scale. E to extrude. S to scale. Press E to extrude. And again, we don't need to press S to scale. This next section is tricky because of this 90 degree angle. Press E to extrude, immediately followed by enter. Press S to scale. Now we can't see the edge of the top face to match it to the background image. Press 0.68 and enter. That's a value I found by trial and error. To avoid slanting sides, Control and Z to undo, press E, and we can extrude straight up. Press E to extrude, immediately followed by Enter. Press S to scale, and move that out. Press E to extrude, and move that up. Press E immediately followed by enter. Press S to scale and again it's difficult to see the edge to match it to the background image. Press 0.9 and enter. The next section is straightforward extruding and scaling. So I'm going to jump ahead. Ignore the cutout for now, we'll deal with that later. Where the model is the widest, the background outline is the curviest. I've gone up in two grid blocks. Where the outline is less curvy, I've gone up in bigger intervals. I will finish off the top. Jump ahead if you're confident that you can do it. Press E to extrude. Press E to extrude. S to scale. Press E to extrude, S to scale. Press E to extrude, 
S to scale, E to extrude, and S to scale. Next, for the cutout, zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan shift and mouse wheel. Go into object mode, add mesh cube, and set the X scale to 0.1. Drag on the tip of the blue arrow to move the cube up until its center point is at the base of the cutout. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and mouse wheel. Press R to rotate and rotate until the sides are parallel. The angle is roughly 30 degrees. I'm going to set the angle to 30 degrees and reduce the X scale to 0.07. Use the tip of the blue arrow to move the cube up and the tip of the red arrow to move the cube across. I'm going to round the values to 5.17 and 0.5. Change the shading to solid. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and mouse wheel. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and we see the intersection of our flattened cube and the chest piece gives us the section that we want to remove. But how do we remove it? Select the bishop, click the modifiers button, click the add modifier button, add a boolean modifier, change the operation to difference. We want to subtract the cube from the bishop, click apply, Select the cube and press X to delete it. And we're left with what looks like a pretty good cutout. It looks good until we apply smooth shading. And then it doesn't look so good. The problem is that the Boolean modifier cuts through a lot of edges and faces, leaving a geometry that's a bit of a mess. There is a quick fix solution. We can add an edge split modifier that will clean up a lot of the problems, a lot of them, but not all. Apply the modifier, click the object properties button, give the model a more meaningful name. Reset the scale values in the object menu, apply scale. And in the object menu, transform origin to center of mass. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the image file and the model at various stages of completion for you to download at my website, www.freemovies.co.uk. At the Blender channel there, thanks for watching and goodbye.